Good morning and welcome to my morning rant. We are continuing our conversation and I promise you guys that I was going to be honest. And I believe I've been honest dealing with this, showing you the history of the church when we came in to this white nationalist church and when they came into the agreement with in Constantine uh, days and they've been um, uh, partnering with politicians forever. Here in the United States was back in the day when they had created a political part of uh, Western Christianity within our United States and uh, they partnered and um, they became uh, one and under the guise of quote-unquote pro-life and stuff like that and um, telling us that the America was founded on Christian uh, principles and all of these things when, you know, that's not the case. And I read to you the beginning of this conversation that the uh, founding fathers, many of them said, no, Christianity uh, and the principles of Christianity had nothing to do with it. And they had some really intense uh, words for uh, those that are always pushing this in our face. And this group of people, as I said to you, they came together, the church came together, made a deal with Trump and his people, and um, based on the deal that they would give them the judges that they want, that they would begin to do the things that they believe in based on their perception of uh, Christianity uh, and, and their Christian uh, belief. Their Christian belief is about oppression. And the Bible tells us that God is not about oppression. He actually came to free us from that. We see that they are interested in taking rights away from everyone. If you look at any state that is red, you will see the nullification of rights. We know that the present that Trump had given to them was uh, the Supreme Court, and we saw how evil that whole process was with Mitch McConnell and, and what he did. And so these men are all, as I said to you, in my mind, every one of them are evil people because um, they do not focus on the things that a leaders should focus on, focus on, as God tells them that they should, that they ought to be focusing on the needs of the people. They need to be looking at um, other things than themselves. And we know that these men are simply focused on themselves and not on anything to have to do with God. And he tells us uh, that we ought to be looking for certain things within certain leaders and that he was in control of all things. It didn't matter who was in place. And the reason why they wouldn't put Hillary in there was that she was not going to give them what they wanted. And they agreed, the church agreed, to everything that you see here in America that is going on today. I mean, everything from down to the state level, to the educational system, everything this white um, church this Christianity that is a cult. It is not uh, Eastern Christianity based on the teachings of Yeshua, um, the Messiah. And so this Jesus is totally different. And so he allows them to do all the things that they do, say the things that they say, because this is what they believe. And Jesus said that from the abundance of a man's heart, he will speak. Why? Because it's inside of him. You see these um, so-called Christians from all of them. Uh, look at every single one of them on the platform today in our faces. F Mitch, the senators, the House. I mean, look everywhere. And they say the same thing. They preach hate. They preach violence. They preach um, subject subjection to people, taking away rights, all of those things that they preach uh, to, they're trying to make you and I ignorant because they're ignorant. And so because they're ignorant, they're telling me that I cannot learn the truth about racism and how they were treated. And this is how the church is. What we are looking at in America is exactly what the church is because they're sanctioned it. And they told them that they agree with it. And because he told them, he says, 
you're going to have to take the whole package. And so if you're going to take the whole package and you agree to it, that means that you believe also in the racism, you believe also in the rights being taken away, because why? Your goal is to, quote-unquote, and uh, to turn, take us back to how it was, I don't know how it was in your mind. But again, your history is violent here in America. You came into a place that was not yours, and you subjugated the folks that were here, and um, you took other uh, races, you brought them here, you subjected to them in in on the your your rule and, and uh power. And so this church and the politicians today we see the minority ruling because they are uh all they want is power and the church wants power as well. They say power to stand next to the president or whatever. But whatever form you put it in it's power. Again it has nothing to do with servant and being a servant. And God uh, Yeshua Jesus Christ said that to become a good leader, one has to serve. One has to understand the needs of the people, and then try to um, try to uh, deal with that, handle that stuff, so that they can um, become, you know, uh, ease the pain of the people. And so we are seeing that these guys, have for the last several years. Have never talked about any policies. All they're talking about is taking away people's rights and what they can get out of it for themselves. And Jesus Christ tells us that's not the case. So the last episode we were looking at uh, God, that they did not understand that God, he is in control of everyone. It didn't matter if Hillary was here or not. And um, it tells us in Daniel, it says, uh, all the inhabitants of the earth are uh, counted for as nothing, but he does according to his will in the hosts of heaven and amongst the inhabitants of the earth, and no one can uh, ward off his hand or say to him, what have you done? God is absolutely in control. And so when uh, uh, one of their gripes that they have is that they talk about the leaders. And we are seeing then that it tells us in the scripture that God puts the leaders. He picks them and he puts them in place. And so when it was time for um, uh, the unleashing of hatred in America, the church partnered with Trump when he came down. And God, Jesus said, there will be tribal. Everything will be tribal at the end as we're getting closer. And when he came on the scene, it intensified the tribalism, if you will. It was coming along when Barack Obama came on and Mitch said, we will not work with that. Um, and you know what he called him. And uh, so we know that that aspect of their thinking was corrupted all the way back then. But it, um, it came to fruition and we see the manifestation of it as we are living in this, that the church brought him in. So when now, when God removed Trump and he started lying and saying that he is in, he's in control, that he is the one that God chose because that's what they were teaching and, and prophesying to their members that God wanted Trump to be in there. But these same people didn't read the word of God. The Lord detests lying lips but he delights in people who are trustworthy. So when this leader was removed by God, he was put in place by God, and he was removed by God. And God says, I detest lying lips. So if you are going to continue to lie, um, we know that you are uh, hated by God. And God tells us that you are going to be judged just like anyone else. And so these guys that are lying, um, telling themselves that they have won and so forth, they are against the word of God. Truthful lips endured forever, but a lying tongue lasts only for a moment. And so we're seeing 
some of the fruits of a lying tongue come into play in the life of their uh, cult leader and all the others that are under there. We are looking at the judgment of God on them. And what the people have to recognize that God is, he hates them. He hates them just like they think they, he loves them. He says he hates lying. There are six things that the Lord hates. Seven that are de detestable to him. An haughty eye, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devise wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. That is the fascist party of today. They have been talking about Biden and his son, a private citizen, and coming up with all kinds of lies, can't get anything proved. Um, their, their witness is, is running, hiding from the law. I mean, absolute chaos. And verses uh, Proverbs 6, 6, 16 to 19 describe these group of people. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him, a haughty eye, a lying tongue, and uh, hands that shed innocent blood. And we see what they're doing to people. We know what uh, they have done to all these innocent people that they have caused COVID and all these different things. Innocent blood they have shed, hearts that deceive, wicked schemes. We know that the ex-president and his crew got together and they were doing some wicked schemes to um, to try and stay in power. And we see that feet that are quick to rush into evil, okay? you know, false witness who pours out lies and a person who stirs up conflict within the community. That man, all he does, and the fascist party, all they do 24 hours a day is stir up conflict within the community. And this, the Bible tells us in Proverbs um, uh, 12, 22, says the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy character. And so these leaders that are walking around calling themselves Christians. They are a lying cult. Their leader is one who lies continually. And because he lies, God detests him. God doesn't like a liar. Uh, he is interested in one's character. He says, an honest witness does not deceive, Proverbs 14, 5. But a false witness pours out lies. And so God is interested in what you got to say, because what did this man understand that there's two types of force that comes out of one's mouth. The Bible tells us that out of the mouth is death and life. And so when you are out spewing all your death and people are actually dying and you're just standing there and you're, you the church is sanctioning this because they haven't come up to him and told him, stop that. You know, it's in their power. Stop that or we will not vote for you ever again, even though you gave us all of that. And we want more from you. But if you don't stop that, we are going to, um, you know, we're not going to vote for you. It's in their power. But because they are just as evil, I'm telling you, these men and women are just as evil because if... Uh, the Bible tells us that we ought to shun evil. We ought to move away from it. And one of their things that they do, it tells us that lying. And we see this all through Proverbs 21, 6 says, A fortune made by a lying tongue is fleeting vapor. And we're looking at that X person that is lying and fleecing the people. And we are looking and reading articles that his money is running just as fast. It says, a fortune made by lying tongue is fleeting vapor and a deadly snare. So he has to lie continually in order to fleece you of all your money. And so you don't understand the principle of that book that you're walking around with and you're calling yourself a Christian and don't understand that when you're in the judgment of God, when you're in the hands of God, you're in some serious problem. And you guys are in the hands of God, and he doesn't play around at all. And so he is watching at one's character. 
And so if these men's character are corrupt, we look at their leader that they had, that means that that church, that cult, that white religion, that Jesus, is, that I was a part of, that um, my family was a part of, I grew up in it. And uh, I've come to see that I believe in Jesus, Yeshua, from Eastern religion, Western religion, Christianity. I do not believe that one because that one allows them to burn cross on my um, on my lawn. And I'm a, I'm a black man, and my my wife she was mulatto mixed, and um, we were living in Florida in a particular area. And I'm not going to say the area, but it is in Florida. And they came and were doing all kinds of stuff on our lawn, lawn throwing garbage on our lawn, throwing um, uh, all kinds of things on our lawn when we were there with my children, uh, my boys and my wife. And so, yeah, I'm familiar with this type of behavior, um, this racism that is still alive and is all over the United States and all over the world because it is time, because the Bible tells us that in the last days, as we are creeping closer to the end of the age, that these are the signs that are going to uh, come together. We talked about global warming. These ignorant people that are a part of this cult uh, do not believe in in, um, in uh, uh, climate, uh, global warming. And Jesus talks about it. If Jesus says to them that in the last days, you're going to, your weather patterns are going to be all kinds of messed up. You're going to have all kinds of heat. Uh, read Revelation. Talks about all of this that is happening. And so these ignorant fools that are trying to keep you ignorant so that they can control you don't believe in science and don't understand that Jesus Christ um, prophesied or told us that this was what um, the science is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, bring out his word as to what he said because he tells us he came into our timeline he saw what he saw and he told his disciples this is what it, you know and so he explained to them and so we're looking at it and they are fighting anything that jesus eastern christianity jesus is talking about to educate the people so that they can see when the end of the age is coming or when his coming is coming so that we can be prepared for him. But if you keep members, disciples will be the ones that are prepared. Members are going to miss it because those are the ones that are spewing hate. Uh, the Bible uh, talks about God uh, dealing with uh, racism with Moses' wife. And we know, I've talk, talked to you guys about that. God created us all. So why are we... Um, having this conversation still here because the church doesn't understand its purpose. See, we have been taken out from the kingdom of darkness and they are fighting to change the kingdom of darkness like if this is where their home is. They are so ignorant that they don't understand that they have been translated from one kingdom out of the other. And your home, we are not, we don't belong here. The Bible tells us, I don't belong here. I am just here, but I, my home is somewhere else. But these ignorant folks that are calling themselves Christians, trying to change the devil's house, and don't understand that you can't change the devil's house. And so what they did was they partnered with the devil to try and make it um, to look as God's house, not understanding that the devil is using them to do what he wants. But God is above him anyway. And so... All of the plans that they are doing is lining up to make sure that God's will is. And so we're looking at these people that are constantly fighting against God. And they're fighting against him in every single way. And then they're telling us that they are right and God is saying no. He said, you're a bunch of liars. He says, I hate you and I'm going to judge all of you. And so that's what we're seeing on the planet right now. For the Bible tells us that the just shall live by faith. It tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight.